All right, I'm with rookie NASCAR driver Matt Jaskell, this time in the truck series. Last year when I inter interviewed you, uh, you had just jumped out of a plane. Helicopter, landed, helicopter. A helicopter, thank you, from 5,000 feet in the air, in front of everybody, lands in the middle of the track, and then gets in his car and races. Who the fuck does that? Did it look as crazy as it just sounded right there? <laughs> I did. It actually did. I was right there when it happened, and you were coming in hot, baby. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. So this year, you got a full ride in the truck series. Yeah. How did that happen? Uh, I don't really know. No. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a, it would it's a long story, right? It always is. Sure. And, you know, the same title sponsor and friend, uh, AutopartsForLess.com, part of LiftKitsForLess.com, who stepped up last year, somebody I've known for 20 years, and put us in the Xfinity series, more or less, you were a part of that, let's be honest, right? Yeah. I mean, you were the guy that introduced us to the team that we ended up signing up with here in Las Vegas. Um, so, you know, we did a few races, six, seven, which was still a rookie status in the Xfinity series. And it rolled into what made the most sense financially, logistically for, for the brand, for myself, and the truck series was it, you know? And it, with the schedule and the budget, it works. And, uh, and here we are. And some of the things you get to do this year, you didn't get to do last year, like practice yeah. and Quali qualify. Qualifying, yeah, imagine, uh, I don't have to, I kinda, I kinda like just sending it straight to the green flag. Have you ever seen this track before? <laughs> nope, straight to the green. Uh, so it actually puts more pressure on you with the practice and qualifying, more can go wrong, but uh, it's funny, I, I didn't, I learned to kinda like the uh, just show up and send it, but yes, we get to get back to real racing, which is the proper, you know, practice qualifying and, and everything, so. Yeah, so one benefit though is you were on this track last year. You kind of understand it a little better than you had previous to that. So yep. you have a little more experience, yep. right? So that's good. Also, uh, you've got pretty good equipment, right? Yeah, I mean, the equipment actually does look pretty awesome. You know, it, it is a newer team. There's always going to be new growing pains. I mean, people people have no idea the amount of effort and work. Some people do, but a lot of people look from the outside looking in don't realize how much effort and work and logistics and how intricate it is to making a team go fast, you know? So we did, uh, we do have very good equipment from uh, Kyle Busch Motorsports from last year, you know, some of the best equipment you can buy, sure. and, but you still have to put it all together, you know, you don't just, it's not just turn key, go run it, right? So we still gotta make it turn fast, we, we gotta do the setup ourselves, and, and uh, there's a lot of work to be done, but it, it looks, it looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm not good at math, but there's 36 spots and 37 trucks here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, it's always I, something. I, what 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 does that mean to you? Yeah, it just it just that one because of the drama we had last year, right? Yeah. Of, of being fast enough to make the show and then getting b bumped out of the field because of provisional points and things like that. So to have and we didn't make the field at Daytona. Let's just be honest. You know, we didn't really have good super speedway equipment going into Daytona. We kind of knew that. We did the best we could with what we had in the short amount of time to get the team ready and everything. And Daytona is all about just having good aero package and you know just holding it full throttle. We just weren't quite ready. So this will be our first attempt at trying to make a race. Uh, there's only one truck going home, and that still just makes you nervous because yeah. there is that one chance, you know. So I, I think we actually have to beat two trucks because if you're 36 on the bubble, uh, if a truck has more points than us, they could bump us out of the field, which I hate that that's how it is, but it is what it is. Yeah. So. But we're looking to be well in the field tonight, obviously. So. And this is the calm before the storm because in a moment here, you're going to practice, yep. qualify, and then hopefully race. Yeah, you know, the, uh, it's so weird. It's, it's never consistent because it just, again, that's just kind of how NASCAR is. Not consistent meaning sometimes you have two hours before qualifying. Now we have practice for 30 minutes and it goes right into qualifying. I, and I don't, we don't know how that's going to work out for the team because we've never had the truck on track before. Uh, you know, we could have gremlins issues and there's, I don't even know if we're allowed to have time to, to do anything before we have to go straight to qualifying. So, if, you know, if, if we have any issues in practice, it could heavily affect us for qualifying. So it's going to be kind of a, a shot in the dark, to be honest. So. And there's some strategy even to practice. You go out there and set up for qualifying sometimes. Yeah. Other times you just get a little seat time and just knock the bugs out of the truck like you're talking about. What What's your plan? Yeah, so if we had a guaranteed starting position, we would have the luxury of going out there and practicing with the race setup, the, the, you know, how the car is going to be set up for the race, maybe try to go draft with some people. Because we still need to get in the show, and we don't know what we're going to have, for the practice, we might do qualifying practice, or mock qualifying as we call it, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're setting up the truck and doing, you know, test qualifying runs to make sure we're going to be fast for, for qualifying. And with one lap, you barely get to warm up the tires, you're sending it. On, with cold tires, aren't you? Yeah, and I heard that it's full throttle around here in qualifying, so. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be a NASCAR driver, right?
180 um, miles an hour full throttle before the tires are warm. I mean, it's, yeah. What's that feel like? Stressful. <laughs> <laughs> did you sleep last night? Yeah, no, I did. I slept pretty good. Yeah. Um, and, you know, again, it just, I, I, as you know, because you were there for some of the races, a lot of my program has been, hey, man, just have fun. No pressure. But don't <laughs> screw this up, okay? Yeah. Like, we're all yeah. relying on you yeah. here. But but have fun. It's There's no pressure, but don't, don't fuck this up. Yeah. And push, but don't fuck up our equipment. Exactly. Yeah. I so got that's it. my first. So I've learned to just accept that. Okay. It is what it is. And, and all I can do is go out there and do the best I can. I, you know, obviously, I, I would like to think that I've proven myself. I showed up to tracks I had never even stepped foot on, started 40th, and drove halfway through the field nearly every race we showed up to. Yeah. So I know how to drive. I know how to get around a track. It takes a full team. It, it sounds cliche, but it is a full team. The truck has to be driving good. I got to be good. The motor's got to be good. We have to have the full package. You know, I, I can't do everything on my own, but I do rely on the team and lean on them and, and hope that we have a good, good enough equipment to get around the track. I think that might be your new nickname, the full package. The full package. Yeah. I am the full package. Matt Jaskell, the full package. I'm little, but we I'm We got an full, onion over there. The There's package. a guy called the onion, yeah. Bodine. Yeah, Bodine. I've heard yeah. of him. You know, he's six away from 800 starts, and that's why he's back racing. I'm, I'm almost there, because this will be my first. <laughs> so it's the same, but different. All right, well, I see you have some fans over here. I'm going to let you go. Good All luck right. to you, brother. Thanks, Mike. Love you, buddy. I love you, too.